Preparation is the new commodity. Pre- preparation is the new commodity. Always be prepared. That's my thing. I've always got to be prepared. How deep do you go into preparation? Oh, very deep. Very deep. Like everything that you do, bro, is in brand. Like yeah. this Huli Hansen, just, it's not... It, 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 guys, if you haven't checked this out... Huli Hansen was ready when we spoke. The last time I was here, Huli Hansen was already done. Bro, you know, that ain't normal, though. <laughs> you understand that that's but not I told normal? You that it's me p- playing catch up with my brain. That's you know incredible. Kill a killer. KillerKellerOfficial.com Street Culture TV Beatbox created Killer Keller And we're here to talk about world music and street culture Killer Keller Podcast mm. Alright, clear the palette Right, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast Live and direct, central Londonia Or as central as you need to be Believe me, there's a lot going on out there. Mm. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Big shout out to all the sharers and carers, people that are out there doing their thingling. Uh, and anyone that isn't and isn't aware of it, get joining in immediately uh, by downloading the Television app. Free iPhone, Android. For the street culture, for the sport and art, when it's mini docs, big docs, DJ mixes, notorious podcast. We got you. Um, well, we got friends back in the venue, and this gentleman is, again, once again, if he wasn't making waves the first time he came out, he'd make more waves. Honestly, Tsunami Affair. Uh, <laughs> Huli Hansen is the mixtape, and believe you and me, this guy, it's the versatility to back it when it comes to actually holding holding court uh, in the hip-hop culture. It's, it's a beautiful thing to witness from inception to now, and I'm very honoured to be calling him a friend of mine. Fly hooligan inside no, the place. Bro, let's get a cheers going now. Let's get a cheers. Chin chin, <laughs> darling. Chin chin, darling. Tally ho. Yes, please do. Mm, mm. <laughs> The opulence in this man, it holds court, especially within the lyrics. And every time, it just seems like the, 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 the relentlessness in which you're putting out content at the moment, Huli. Mm-hmm. Is cr- if you don't know about this character, get involved. Mad content yeah, coming cool. out at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot coming and a lot more to come, man. A lot more to come, absolutely. Talk to me about this. T- talk to me about the process, first of all. Like, what, you've just done one and you're like, no, 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 hold on. I've got another three in the can. Or, no, no, wait a minute, I've just got to go in the studio. Hold that thought. <laughs> I- I'm on my Prince shit, bro. <laughs> really? like, you know, back catalogue things, you get me? Like, For real? So, yeah, man. It- it- it's been a lot of that recently as well. Um, working on-, on on a lot of new stuff um, with some... <sighs> incredible uh people um i wish i could give give away yeah more yeah than the popcorn's that, man, in the hand mate w- yeah, who like, talk to nah, me man, I, 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 but so low key vibe. all right the most the most um exclusive exclusive yeah um <laughs> look up Doughboy. boy um he's from cali he's an a&r he just a&r the um rock marcy's um most recent like his his latest project with TF TF is um, one of Schoolboy Q's peoples, um, and so um, Do Do Network. Sorry, I could yeah Do Network is 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 his handle on Insta. Um, so Do Network reached out to me a while back, earlier on in the year, and he was like, "Yeah, he wants to do some, you know, he wants to do an EP with me," and kind of he, he he got busy, I got busy. Um, and then basically we reconnected um, just over a month ago and he sent me a bunch of beats. Um, so, yeah, he's a and r in a, a project for me now and he's he's in the same camp with Chase Infinite, you know, ASAP Rockies. Yeah, yeah. um, I think now previous manager, ex-manager or whatever. Um, so, yeah, like, so that's, that's, that's something I could talk about because he announced it on Twitter. Um, and and you know he's been sharing snippets of of our tracks um, on his Instagram, so on his Insta stories and stuff. So yeah, personally, I wouldn't have said nothing till everything is done and done in it. But mm. you know that's not everyone is gonna work the way I work, or not everyone's gonna do things the way I do them. And and I've, I'm fully respectful of that. Mm. You know, I respect I respect Doe Network um, a lot. I respect Doe Boy a lot. I love his grind. Mm. Um, he's constantly moving and 
you know, that's 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 an inspiration to me. That's 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 what I want to be around. That's what I want to be driven by. Brand guarantee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sign of assurance, knowing that what you say you do, and don't make that move until mm. you're say. Yeah, until you got the ammunition, man. Until you got the arsenal. Forget the ammunition. You need the arsenal. You know, once you have the arsenal, you can go to war with anyone. I mean, take a look at Pusha T. You mm. know, he made it very clear years ago, man. He's got like a file mm. of ammunition and arsenal ready to go for anyone. So that's kind of how I, I think. You know, that's how I've been thinking. And I, and I only that interview only came to light for me a couple of days ago when him and Jim Jones were going at it. You know what I mean? So seeing that clip, I'm like, oh shit. That's how I think, but I just just music in general. But yeah, Whatever but also vibe. when you're when you're adapted to it, like we're talking from a hustler's standpoint, like yeah. you know, doubt about it. The the the, the latest currency of a lot Product. and back catalogue and volume and arsenal, like you were saying, and mm. having that contingency so you can move forward at rapid speed. This is from a this this harks back to <laughs> drug dealing pimp days of the, yeah. the early 80s and Absolutely late 70s right. like even sooner it's, it's just a different it's just a different commodity now isn't it yeah yeah i mean preparation is the new commodity Pre Ooh. preparation is the new commodity always be prepared that's my thing i've always got to be prepared how deep do you go into preparation oh, very deep very deep. Like everything that you do, bro, is in brand. Like yeah. this Huli Hansen, just it's not it, 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 guys. If you haven't checked this out, Huli Hansen was ready when we spoke. The last time I was here, Huli Hansen was already done. Bro, you know that ain't normal though. <laughs> you understand that that's but not I told normal. You that it's me p playing catch up with my brain. That's you know incredible. What I'm saying? And, and big shout out to Souza Mischief. Souza Mischief, I love you, bro. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he you know, he's another individual that. Um, it, he, he pushes, he pushes Huli a lot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He challenges Huli, yeah. and, I, and I love him. I love him for that. You yeah. know what I mean? He's not a yes man. Yeah. He's not. He's not one of those people. You know what I mean? No, um, no, no. Moves differently, and, and he thinks. You know, when it comes to Brandon, he thinks exactly like me. You know what I'm saying? And he he he's one of the very few people out there that will always um, be on the ready to accredit me for 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 any inspiration that you know that he's received over the years from. The things that I've done with Gourmet Deluxe. Mm. Um, it's such a beautiful, beautiful mm. platform you created, bro. Thank you, man. Real talk. It. No, no, I appreciate you. For real, for real. Honestly. Like, so, you know, um, so having someone like um, Souls of Mischief on side is is a very good thing for me. I feel I feel um, we benefit from each other's knowledge and, and enthusiasm for this, you know, very well. And like I said, that shit was ready when we spoke. Um, I've got, and, and it's not... So the new thing I'm doing, um, I don't mind saying it now, is like, Huli Hansen is like a year long, a year plus campaign. It's it's not it's not finished. You know we haven't ended. It doesn't stop at a tape and a CD and a box set and a hoodie and a, a t shirt. Nah, there's a lot more to come, bro. Can you indulge? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Um, VHS um, mixtape, um, literally mixed by DJ Retmatic of the. Um, the, the beat junkies <laughs> so that's coming on VHS and DVD as well um, oh, we've got um, a Huli Hansen EP produced by Mr. Slips um, that's that I've I've done recorded that he's probably uh, mixing and mastering mm. it as we speak mm. um, what else there, there are a few things um, there, there's a gallery um, an art exhibition coming up for Huli Hansen um yeah, Yo, you're too much for me. Yeah, man. It's too early in the afternoon for it's, this. <laughs> it's it's a it's a yeah it's a it's a very long campaign, you know. Um, and it, it, all right, there are some other aspects I I, I actually can't say mm -hmm. nothing because we've we've only had the talks regarding that other stuff about uh, just over a week ago. But mm. you know, and if the, we, if the quickness of this podcast and anything go by, anything can happen within a week. Believe me, we only planned this up about four days ago. Literally, literally, four cool days it, ago. bro. Cool. You know cool. what I'm saying? Like that's how we roll, bro. Yeah. Sammy B side. He, he he hit me up last week on Tuesday. Oh, you know, do you fancy coming up to rinse FM and yeah, you know doing it? Beautiful. A, I was like, yeah, I'm ready, bro. Oh, yeah, but you're gonna need this. And I've got it all already in the chamber, man. What were you telling me? Mm -hmm. You know, I, and I say I say it boldly, man. There's Huli and there's everyone else. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's the name of uh, 
my spin-off project with uh, the Beat Junkies. There's Huli and there's everyone else. Oh my God. <laughs> it's done. You know what I mean? It was done. Artwork by Doughboy Super. Um, so yeah, that's done. There's Huli and there's everyone else. Um, got beats from Babu. Um, Yo! Beats from Babu, beats from DJ D Styles and DJ Redmatic as well. Only person I couldn't get was J-Rock, man. But big love to J-Rock. I got so much respect for that whole team, you know what I mean? Beat They're legends. junkies, bro. The beat yeah, junkies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, childhood heroes. Yeah, man. Our childhood heroes. Yeah, Raucous, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, from Raucous and, yeah. and so on, you know what I mean? And fucking um, dilated peoples, you know. It's, it's a whole history there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, to be able to, to even say, even if it was a song, you know, to be able to say, mm. like, but there's so much involvement from them, especially with DJ Repmatic. He was, he was the, um, he was kind enough to approach me and, and um, was put that offer on the table for me. Like, yo, mm. we've got some beats from Babu. We've got beats from D Styles and myself. You know, we'd love to do an EP with you. I was like, shit. Why would I say no? Mm, like, mm. What kind of black tar heroine would I be <laughs> on? You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Where do you get the empathy from an audience point of view that what you're doing here is uh, historically correct from a fan yourself? Where's it, like, why and where and why do you have that? You know what? Break it down to me in a different way because the way I'm interpreting what you're asking me, I, I, I don't... Th- yeah, no, ask me that. You have ask an empathy. You definitely way. have an empathy towards the audience and what you what, know. What they want. Yeah. And what, but more importantly, what you feel is historically correct. Like, you could get any fucking DJ. Yeah. You can get any fucking DJ crew. But B Junkies mm-hmm. hold such the pillars of the, of the scene. Right. Okay. I was right with what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why is because um, I started off as a fan. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, and when I say I'm not a fan of anyone anymore, I say that with all due respect. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to downplay anyone or anything like that. I'm I just I, I now see myself as a peer, right? And yeah, even mm. as a peer, you could still be a fan of others. But the, the the difference in my head, the way it works in my head is I'm I'm an extremist. I'm either or. That's mm. it. I, I I don't know if it's an ADHD thing or whatever. I just can't do the gray area stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't do the two things. I have, to, I have to either think like this or I think like that. I either do this or I do that. You know, the the that, you know, as the French say, come see, come sign. Mm-hmm. I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. It's either mm-hmm. I'm doing great, I'm doing fantastic, or no, nah, I'm shit, bro. I'm, I'm feeling shit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's that. It's not. I, I don't. I don't know how to do that shit. You know yeah. what I mean? So no maybe's. Nah, no maybe's. Um, it's yeah, it's evil. I can, I can be indecisive. Don't get me wrong, but, but that's because I know I have to have a defi- I have to choose a definitive side mm, yeah. <laughs> to, to the question. You know what I'm saying? To, yeah. to the thing that's in front of me. So, you know. So again, like I said, that's a long, long winded way of just you know explaining myself and you know, making sure no one is offended by that statement of mm. me saying I'm not a fan of anyone. I love and respect everyone that participates um, in, in the culture of hip-hop. I really do. Um, but to say I'm a fanatic of of somebody else, I mean, that that, that just, it, that, that doesn't work for me. Mm-hmm. Um, for the kind of personality I have and the way my, my head works, my brain works, it just doesn't sit well. But I'm I'm also I'm I'm very able to tap into my memory bank and and see what every individual did for me at what stage of my life. Um, so that's that's the person I'm empathizing with. I'm empathizing with that fucking eighteen year old Iron Braids, you know, mm. who was outside Subterranea, mm. you know, you know catching joke with Rizzo or something, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, like, mm. that that makes sense. But then also, you know, it's like you just said as well, like, you can have anyone. Mm. You, know, you, can, you can work with literally anyone you want, but why mm. these in particular mm. people? Because, yes, it is historically right. It mm. is it's based on my morales around hip-hop, mm. what, what, I've, what I've taken from the hip-hop culture and, and having respect um, and showing you know, unconditional respect and love for those people that created that opportunity for me. 
um, to, to express myself in an individual and unique way, mm. you know, to say, all right, hip, hip hop is the only f- genre, you know, a lot of people are highlighting some negative shit with hip hop right now, but hip hop is the only genre where you can look at everything and say, fuck that, I'm going to do the opposite shit. Mm. I ain't got to do what everyone else is doing, it's but true. people have forgotten that. Mm. You know, I feel people have forgotten that. Like when Arrested Development came out and did, you know, Everyday People, I was like, on. come on. That's a... F- Anthem. That's incredible. You know, but... I mean, as adults now, we can appreciate it for what it was. What's but it? you you, you got to remember the vibe at the time. Yeah. Some some people fucked with it. Some yeah. people like, yeah. nah, that ain't no hardcore shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, know what I'm saying? talking about Ice Cube. Oh! Right, you know, but... It it, it it was it was a beautiful time because it was it wasn't regulated. Mm. You could love B real for being B real. Mm. You could love Buster Rhymes for being Buster Rhymes. Oh, Redman for being Redman. Meth for being Meth. You hear their voices on a song. They they're on a song with um, uh, what's that on the Space Jam soundtrack. Oh my God, yeah. You hear their voices, Craig Mack, boom. You know it's them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know it's them. Because because they, they celebrated individuality at that point, and that was the statement. That was the statement of broken glass everywhere, people pissing on the stairs, and we just don't care. Yo, mm. yo that was a statement. That was a statement that, yo, you, y'all can say whatever you're saying, mm. but we're saying this, innit? Mm. This, this is what, this is the, the message hip-hop gave me. Bravery. A lot of bravery. Absolutely. A lot of bravery. A lot of that fuck it button. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of that fuck it button, bro. But also a lot of that, which has become so underthought, but in the case of you, because you're, I would argue, because you're from that era, every single one of those characters that you mentioned were brand specific to themselves. Mm. You know, whether it be Arrested Development, Tribal Quest, Mm -hmm. Craig Mack, Buster all day. I you mean, name it. Yeah. You, you name it. Name anyone from that time, from mm. that period. And it's not me on some like, oh, bring back the, oh, the good yeah. old days and all that. It's not that. I love the new shit popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love drill. Yeah, yeah. I love trap. Yeah, yeah. I, we're not I, hating you know, here. No like, old folks shit. I lo- I've got a very eclectic mm. um, ear. Like, I've got a very eclectic taste in music. Mm. I told you, I'm a music mm-hmm, head. Mm-hmm, the last time I was here, mm-hmm. I, I genuinely am. Mm. I see art for what it is. I'm not here to judge anyone because yo like for one of the first things i learned on road is you point that finger you got three of your own pointing right back at you mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so you know you gotta be you gotta be wise to that you gotta wise up to that you know if you ain't got nothing mm-hmm. good to say about some shit just keep it moving that's how i see it mm-hmm. now, you know what i mean mm-hmm. so so you know i'm not here trying to say like oh yeah you know we need we need that old stuff back and all that and whoever don't agree with me that's cool bro like you got your team you stick with it i would also yeah. say that with the, the, the seal of the seal of quality and standard again. Um, we we know the lane because mm, mm. you know I love I love older new shit, um, but I, I I like to know the integrity of what I'm listening to. I hear that. Yeah, I'm hear saying. That. I hear that. Like when you've got beat junkies or Michael Parkinson, old type Parky. When you've got when you've got a bunch of dons on your album, West Side Gun. Mm-hmm. You know what it does, it's doing what it's meant to be doing on the tin. You know what you're kind of yeah. putting on your earphones. You know yeah. what I mean? And that that goes a long way, doesn't it? Mm. It, it 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 does. You know it does. But there is a there is a side to me where I'm just like, if I could do it all by myself, I would. If I could have a hundred albums out there, only me, purely me on there, no features, I would go for it. You know, because again, I'm I'm not I'm not the kind of person who who wants who, who f- I don't like feeling like I'm using someone. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, to get to where I need to go, I I genuinely don't like that feeling. I don't. I it's sometimes I, don't I feel th- like that when I do a feature. I feel like that yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I was, I was That's saying. why I'm very I'm not very selective, but. You know, it, it for if I'm doing a feature with someone, it's got to make sense. And that's something that I take from a lot of your features. It seems extremely thought. Mm. And if it was a case that you know, oh yeah, him, him, work with him, work with him. it's not that. I think what yeah. I think what it is is, oh, he's just working with him because he's going to get streams. Yeah. No, but that doesn't happen. I, that, that's not what I, you know. What I mean, but but in my head, like I said, in my head, it, that fucks with you. That shit plays. Mm. You know, what I'm saying that that scenario plays. You know, it's like. Um, 
for instance, once upon a time, I was offered, um, I was given an offer to do a song with Ghostface um, for like twenty five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. right? And I said no. I said no. I had the money, but I said no because it wouldn't make sense right now. It's too early for that. Mm -hmm. I have to. Do, I know I have to do certain things with mm. my career. I have to generate certain numbers, you know, with, you know, through my platforms before I can do a song with Ghost, whether I pay him or not. Just so that when people hear it, it makes fucking sense mm -hmm. to them. You hear me and West Side Gun, it makes sense. You hear me and Hus Kingpin, you, it makes sense. You hear me, Rock Marcy, you hear, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Planet Asia, it makes sense. Mm. You, you understand Man, what I'm so saying? You've done so much. Over the, even so, since we last hung out, it's like... Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've got a lot of stuff there. Yeah, yeah, there, there is a lot of stuff there. Um, you know, but again, it's just got to make sense, bro. You know, it's got, it has to make sense to me. Mm. And if it don't make sense to me, I'm not going to do it because, I'm, you know, I want, I want this very, very much. I want it so bad. I've made so many sacrifices. What do you want? I've... I, I want I want to be successful. I want to make history. You understand what I'm saying? The I, long game. I, yeah, I, you know, but I really I really want to be successful now more than ever. I'm very hungry. I've I'm more hungry. I'm more hungry than I've ever been. I think and I've, I've and I think I've only ever said something like that, maybe twice in my whole career. Um, but this time round, it's a different level of hunger. There's a there's an anime called Ragnarok. Okay. On on Netflix and um, I think season one it is it's the last fight of season one, and there's this samurai. Um, he's known for losing all his battles, right? And he has to go up against this god. Um, I think it's called Battle of Ragnarok, some shit like that. Um, but anyway, he he's a professional loser in battle, right? But what people didn't realize is he was intentionally losing his battles. Because he felt that losing these battles, he was learning a lot more by losing. Oh. Right? So, so come to this point where he has to face a god now. Yeah, a, a Greek god. Um, I think it was Poseidon or something. like The, the one with the... I forget the trident. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. Greek god with the trident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Poseidon. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Google that um, shit. Yeah, Google it, man. Yeah. Netflix, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but um, but yeah, like so he, because of all the battles he had and he lost, he was able to picture or visualize every move that the god was about to pull off on him. God, that's Ultimately, good. he won, right? Yeah. Because and he was the only one that won in that leg of the tournament, sort yeah. of thing, right? And what I t what I took from that is in life, yo, you gotta get those L's, man. Yeah. You have to get those L's because if you're only used to the W's, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting those L's will prepare you for that t for that big W, and you know, looking like pursuit of happiness. My mm. man was getting L's left, right, and center, <laughs> and then once he got that big W, he's held on to that W for the rest of his life. You watch King of Comedy. Yeah, yeah, King of Comedy. Sick like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah you man. Know? No one gives a fuck, no one gives a fuck, then all of a sudden, boom. Boom, that's it, like, you know. But then how are you going to handle it? You understand what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, all the men then from the 90s, a lot of the men then from the 90s, yeah. that, that you know, hip-hop legends and stuff like that, a lot of them didn't know about having business acumen mm -hmm. and profession, um, professionalism and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So a lot of them lost out, lost their fortune because they weren't prepared for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, the reason why they went through that is for us to see that and say, all right, we can't, we shouldn't be doing that. We should, an L on mass. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all right, we should be more, we should be thinking more like Buster Rhymes and his mum, where, yeah, she signed his deal, but she took that money and invested in real estate immediately. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how we should be thinking. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So those, those stories are there. Like, mm. all right, we shouldn't be like, I don't know, if, uh, Melly Mel's brother, who's, who squandered squandered away his his fortune mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and then now he's got to go work a nine to five, and you know what I'm saying, and now and now he's he's sitting in jail because he was still in the ghetto. Someone tried to sexually uh, mm -hmm. harass him, and then he had to defend himself. You know, you get caught up in all kinds of weird ass scenarios. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I think yeah, like for me, my journey has always been about. I've had so many disappointments, but I've learned from all of them. 
I've had so many L's, but I've learned from all of them. What's the biggest L you've got before where you're just like, fuck, dude, like, why now? What the fuck? Like, and you had to really kind of figure it out. Um, the biggest one. Mm. Damn. You know those ones? Doesn't have to be seismic from a, from a uh, visual or uh, uh, historical, but something that could just be internal. They're nothing to do with industry. We are just like, fuck, dude. My mum dying from cancer. Wow. That's the biggest one, you know. But again, I've had so many L's up to that point. And 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 the biggest L before losing my mum was losing my dad. You see? <laughs> so dealing with with that scenario, bang. I was so prepared for my mum. You were fucking ready. I though. was ready. And I was I, mean, you can never I be didn't say I didn't No, no, but, but I was yeah. ready, bro. That like and when I say ready, I mean I was ready. For the process, mm -hmm. I knew what was coming and I knew it would be a lot more heavier than my father um, because I was a mummy's boy. You understand what I'm saying? So having that process with my mum and going through all those memories and stuff like that, I was very close with my father as well, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But up until my, my the point of my mum, it was like 13 years had passed already. Mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. But now it's like... All right, I remember everything then. So now I know what I need to I know what I need to do for my mum. So I'm gonna go exercise, I'm gonna go get my diet right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take everything that's happening and I'm gonna embrace it and I'm gonna create as much pro like as much material as I possibly can during the course of all of this. And that's exactly what I did. I took that L and I made it a W. I, I, you know, I kind of touched on it in the, the last time I was here. Yeah, but it's deep. You know, so it's a deep one. It's, it's a big W because... Wow. It, it, I saw it as a big W because, again, like, you know, it depends how people see it, but I saw it like... I've got a lot of brothers and sisters. I literally won the lottery because I believe being there for your parents is... Uh, and then blessing you is the ultimate blessing mm. it, ever. Like, it's the ultimate blessing apart, apart from, you know, God in the universe mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, you know, your parents blessing you, you know, you know, God yeah. bless your hands. Oh like, my God, you know, yeah, that's deep. You know, it's like, it, it's the ultimate, it's like winning the lottery. I've got so many brothers and sisters. The fact that I'm the only, like, I'm literally the only one at that moment there to, you know, return the gesture Pass it forward, yeah. to my mum, you know, um, and be there for her the same way she was there for me when I was a baby. Crazy. You see what I'm saying? Um, once a man, twice a baby, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I, I was I was ready for that. And, you know, I I was, yeah, man, I did, I did, I did so much in that process. Um, I shot video and nobody knew. I think I told one friend. Mm. And all I asked of him was to just pray for me. Just pray that, just pray for my strength. You know, that's all I asked of him. Um, I didn't want anything. I didn't want sympathy. I didn't want help. Because this was mama. Like, and, and, and if anything, I'm a slave. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I'm doing it all for her. Whatever she needs is, is done. It's, mm -hmm. it's a done deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where... I took the biggest W because anything that's happened after that, when it, in terms of disappointments, mm. I've always looked at it as a W because shit, I've had worse happen. Nothing compares to... You know what I'm saying? Kind of... Nothing compares to losing mum. Mm. Nothing compares to, you know, being set up by your best friend to get stabbed and mm. left for dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing compares to that either. You know what I mean? So, w w when, you, when, when you take these kind of, um, these kind of L's... Mm you realise how insignificant certain other L's are. So if, if someone says, oh yeah, I'm going to do this song with you, bro. And the day comes and then no, no show, they don't do the song yeah, with yeah. you and all. All right, fuck it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just keep it moving, bro. It's mm -hmm. not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just, just going to keep doing it. That's... Yeah, it breeds confidence. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And that's that's why I'm confident. That's, that's, that's why I can say there's Julian, there's everyone else. Yeah. Because of everything that I've been through, I've overcome um, the the opportunities I've I've generated for others, mm. the 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 confidence I've given other people, mm. you know, just by what I'm doing, or or just by the encouraging words Crazy I've given value. to them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I think people need to hear that sometimes. I think from a f- family point of view, for sure, males especially, they have this thing of... Uh, it's almost like the umbilical cord to their own, their own fathers mm. and this sense of pride that needs to be achieved in the eyes of their parents, mm. in the eyes of their fathers. It's really fucking complex, isn't it? You know, the best... <clears throat> The best way to <clears throat> make your parents proud is by living long enough to lay them to rest. That's the, that's, that's the best thing you could do for your parents. Just living long enough. Live long enough to lay them to rest. Be there for them. Mm. That's it. You know, you know all, that, all that like, uh, I, buy, I bought a house for them and, you know, I bought mm. a, a new Rolls Royce that just mm. came out the factory. There's only one in the whole mm. wide world. Yeah, some parents would love that shit, but you know what? There are some parents, like my parents, for instance, mm. I know for 100% fact, just me being alive, you know, because I almost died whilst, I was, whilst they were alive. And I know it would have killed them if they had buried me. Wow. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? So the fact I lived through that and, and I laid them to rest, I know... That's that's the that's ultimate. True. Like that's the that's the best thing I could have ever done for them. Also, that you Buying overcome that house. as well. You overcame that yeah. situation. Not allowing it to make me go crazy, mm. losing that because they always they always worried about how I would react once they die. You know, I had a couple brothers and sisters that were like, "Yeah, hey, you ain't gonna, you're definitely not gonna survive without your parents." You know what I'm saying? They said that to you. Absolutely, hundred percent. Because I was very attached to my parents. Very attached. Mm. You know, they were very loving, very supportive. Um, as much as I was a fucking madman in certain other circles, mm. to my parents, I was the, you know, somewhat the obedient son. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow, well, that's deep. Because that was very important to me, mm. you know. So then, yeah, you know, there were a lot of doubts, like, yo, will he be there for his parents and shit like that? I never said nothing. I just waited for the day to come. Mm. And I hopped right to it. You know what I mean? I did. I did what I had to do. Um, to be there for them. That's life and lessons playing its part. Absolutely. And then you you, you, you withdraw from that. Mm. You withdraw for that from that and you transfer it to your career. Mm. That resilience in life now becomes the resilience in your career. Or the disappointments, that don't mean shit to me. I don't care about that. Because mm. I've learned a lesson from it. Mm. I've I've helped people. I've had I've had a, a grown man sit sit down in front of me and say, "Oh, bro, I don't know if I can do this. I I don't feel comfortable." I said, "Well, bro, you, it's either you shut the fuck up, get better, or get the fuck out of my face." Because I ain't trying to hear none of that doubt and shit around me, especially what I've just had to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come and tell me you don't know if you can do this and you don't know if you can. man. You better shut the fuck up or get the fuck out of my face, bro. Real shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't play with that. I'm not trying to have no one doubting themselves around me. Mm-hmm. I will get vexed. You know what I mean? Well, you shouldn't be in your team. Full no, stop. no. You shouldn't be around anybody mm. if you're if you're on that energy. Mm. Go sit at home by yourself, mm-hmm. I beg. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because now more than ever, we don't need that shit in this world. Not in 2020, whatever you're watching. This you know what I'm saying? We, we don't need that, that type of thinking in this world. And I literally helped this person through all their doubts. I put them, I, I positioned them nicely, um, pause in, in, in the game. And, you know, they still had the nerve to turn around one day and say, yeah, man, I ain't, you know, I, I ain't trying to, I don't want to work with you no more. You know what I'm saying? No thank you, no nothing. But I ain't working with you no more. Just, just lock man off. Really? Yeah, it happens. Fuck It sake. happens. But no one's perfect, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm and I'm with it. Cool. Let's keep that energy. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep that energy then. That's There's a no trial problem. and error in itself, isn't it? Well, if you didn't work good job, we found out soon enough, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely, bro. <laughs> and and you know, everything runs its course. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, the way the way I am, I want shit done last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yes. You're fuck. my kind of guy, bro. What's yesterday, like, bro? Yeah. Fuck yesterday, bro. We want that shit done last year. <laughs> You know what I mean? We're so we're moving, we're moving hot out here. Yeah. So for some some Jeez. people they can't they can't they can't work with that. Nah. Some people some people rather take their super time. Mm. Some people mm. completely right. My biggest critique from people is like I put too much 
too many episodes out. I put too much stuff. I'm like, motherfucker, keep up. <laughs> you fucking what so the fuck? What, bro? Watch <laughs> what you can that. watch. <laughs> Tell me Jesus it's like that. Christ. Young, young Guru said it on uh, My Expert Opinion. I watched all your episodes. Mm -hmm. He said that to my Fafa. Fire. Big shout out to Guru. I've watched Fire. all your episodes. Fire. You know what I'm saying? And and he's got some, he's got a lot of fucking episodes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if young guru can do that, why can't Break you, that. bruv? Relax, Break man. That. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop looking for an excuse. Yeah. You know, don't don't pin it on 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 Killer Keller and try to give Killer Keller a complex about hard graft and hard work. Mm. Put that complex on your fucking self, bro. Real You're talk. lazy shit. Real You're talk. unsupportive. Yeah, you you don't have no intention of supporting your brethren. And, you know, don't call him your brethren then. If mm. you ain't trying to watch all his episodes and, and if you're trying to complain that he's got too much, you ain't his brethren, you mm. ain't his supporter. Mm -mm. I'll tell you that straight. Come mm. find me. I'll tell you to your face as well, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't respect that. I don't respect that. No, I don't. I just, if I can't watch it, I'll say, sorry, bro, I've been busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I haven't so had the chance to watch it, world, but I, I, mean? I pray it's going well yeah. for you. You know what I'm saying? I pray it's going well for you, man. We're still you know? here. That's it. That's it, bro. Like, about two. I've, I speed mean, is essential in this game. Yeah, man. Isn't it? But yo, like, speed. Speed creates the endurance. Mm. Speed, it, it allows you to think triple fast. I'm with pace. I know you're with speed, yeah. but I'm with pace. You like pace. Pace, yeah. Because with speed, you can, you can, you can burn burn yourself out right mm. but with pace once you find your pace and you stick to that rhythm. pace pardon yes your rhythm mm. once you once you found that there is no stopping you mm, mm, mm. you understand what i'm saying yeah i do so when when you're on that rhythm and it's flowing it's consistently flowing people can join that flow flow of rhythm mm. And and keep up with what it is you're doing. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Whereas if you if you're with speed, that's when you're g gonna get these, these fucking knobs. <laughs> yeah, them, oh, you're doing too much. <laughs> uh, fuck out of here, bro. Res it. Respectfully, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> um, uh, I, I just need to go back to the brand thing again because it's just the biggest intrigue. Give me, give me, right? Because we're getting into pace here, so. If you come up with an idea, who's got an idea? It's kindling. It's in the head. It's, yeah, no one's ever done that before. <laughs> That's quite an idea. I could call it that. How that works with that. Yo, that makes sense. What do you do then? What's the next step? Who do you call? What do you, th where do you, what next? I do it on my phone. Right. Um, because, again, it, it's, it's how it looks. Because what I see first is how it looks. Mm. Kind of work backwards <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I see how it looks, then I do it on my phone to see if it makes sense. If I can, if I can make it on my phone, that means, yeah, it's going to make sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then I call the guy that can put that on a template for me. And then I call the people that can bring that template to life. And whilst all that's happening, I'm creating let's say, the soundtrack for it. You know what I mean? So it starts with the visual. Oh, yeah, all, all the time. Okay, how long does that period... Huli you... Hansen. How do you think that started? It started with a jacket. Of course. <laughs> Huli Hansen started with a jacket. Yeah. And under and up against all this Ralph Lauren, Lauren business, I love Polo, don't get me wrong, but Huli Hansen... It, it, it come on. did a tick... Bro, it was like... <laughs> that Tommy Hilfiger, like, I don't fuck around. I love uh, them. Yeah, bro. At, at, one, at one point, it was in... Like the major players in hip hop were were rocking, you know, Helly Hansen Hell yeah. jackets. You know what I mean? And and there were people that went out of their way to get those jackets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a no brainer, bro. Like I mean, how how it's how how have you idea. not done that? Like how how did you sleep on that? Even <laughs> it's like whoa. Okay, but it, rather you than me, no problem. So going back to the process, so we've we've established here that. This is the sequence of ideas. How long does that take? If you've got an idea, how reactive are you and how long does it take to activate these people? Hour. Really? Hour. And people, it's immediate calls to people. You've yeah. got this idea. Yeah. And sometimes it will take a bit longer only because they might be busy doing some other shit. Mm. So then I will run off and 
All right, I mean, I'll give you an example. Yes, we love examples. He's currently going to his phone if you're not watching um, and only listening. Big up to the audio crew, the earbud crew. So basically, mm. um, I'll show you this. Uh, currently thumbing the screen. He's on his phone, doing it. Seeing nothing but big lights flashing. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's trying to, he's trying to direct airplanes over here. <laughs> <laughs> I try to find this picture, yeah. So it's like um, I went from thinking of Huli Hansen, yeah, mm-hmm. and then um, where's it gone? I'll mm-hmm. find it in just a moment. Mm-hmm. Um, See, this is this is some on the spot reactive shit. Everything's done on the phone, by the way. Everything, absolutely. Yeah. Everything. The thing you're looking at us on is done by the phone. It's just Literally. so immediate, isn't it? Just... All right. So I got these. Um, I got these made. Look at that. Yeah. So I got these made. Okay. I, so I what, took can I tell them what we're looking at? Yeah, um... To assert, to... <laughs> this is so this All is right. so hype piece right now. <laughs> I got these made. Yeah. Okay. So these are these are. Shall I say they're sneakers? Yeah. We can they're say sneakers, they're sneakers. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I got them made. As you and do. I thought, All right. How wow. can I how can I present that later on mm. to aid the campaign, right? Mm-hmm. And then I said, all right. I now could all like this person, that person, that person, this person. Give them ideas of what I'm after. As in the brand, people behind it. No, as, as in, in the graphic my team. design. Yeah, okay. yeah, my graphics team. Yeah, um, or my graphics guy. Right. I can send them a bunch of stuff and be like, yeah, this is how I want it to mm-hmm. look. Or I could just do it myself because I know. I know how to work my equipment. No, yeah, that's it. Gotcha. And, and and I know what I want, what I'm looking for. And then yeah, I just ended up with this in my phone. Oh, stop it! Yeah, no. So ultimately, so you built what, the case. What I'm doing, what I did with that, yeah. So with the sneakers, yeah. how I wanted to present it, I wanted to present it like the old sneaker magazines that we used to get in the UK to order sneakers from abroad and shit. Yeah. For, for 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 those that that may remember, maybe Goddard's catalogs, you know, you buy mm. things on HP, but after a certain period of time, and mums, you'll testify to this, particularly yep. the early 80 mums, yep. there'll be certain areas in the catalog which have been burnt the fuck out. <laughs> it's normally the women's bra section, <laughs> the toy section, computer game section, and oh, the sneaker shit. section, Absolutely. real talk. So this I'm here so is like, this is what this looks like. This looks like yeah. the, the sneakers within the catalog section of... Yeah. Uh, we, we of, also, used to have um sneaker catalogs that's right um from from the 90s where we would we would order um so that i took that same sort of format from a page of i don't know if oh yeah bob that's the page that's where i got the idea from it looks just so it's exactly that exactly that one of the sneaker catalogs yeah fucking sick so that's where i got the idea from you know so that's something yeah i love it again to aid the whole hooli hansen um uh, what do you call it? Campaign. Yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna sh- share that. You know, and then we'll keep the word going. Mm. You know, so it's like it's it's something I drew from um, Tyler the Creator. He said, "Why you know why why promote your shit for, for like a day and then yeah. f- for a day?" Now nah, he, he says he promotes it for six months, hmm. but he's like, "Why promote like the cats out there that will promote their album for a day and then think you know that'll do that's right. it yeah, yeah like it's like nah man you should be proud of your shit yeah yeah." And doing you know more. I mean? So yeah, so so I'm like, I'm so proud of my shit. I'm doing it from various aspects. But you're doing it from a mood board point of view. You're creating the aesthetic that that creates the placement for the soundtrack. Yeah. Like take for instance, um, the Huli Hansen EP with uh, Mr. Slips here. Hmm. Each track is named after where I've seen like a Heli Hansen jacket. So... Track, well, um, I've got a track on there called The Mob Deep Heli. Heavy. Now, if you know about The Mob Deep Heli, you'll know that there was a puffer coat, Heli Hansen, that Prodigy and the rest of Mob Deep were rocking. Mm. I've got that Heli as well, right? Stop it. So I called it Mob Deep Heli. Um, I've got another track called um, Red Man Heli on a yacht. You see what I'm saying? I've got <laughs> The Nocturnal Heli. So The Nocturnal Heli is based off the... Hell to Skelter Nocturnal yeah, album yeah, cover yeah. where they're upside down the and they're both rocking first thing I thought when helis. you said it. It's the first thing I thought when you said it. I've got um, I've got Exhibit Heli. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm from, um, yeah, that Big L Heli. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So each track, so it's like to keep, to keep 
you know, um, to keep the whole thing amalgamated to an, to an ex a respective extent, you know, it's these these are where these inspirations are drawn mm. from. I'm I'm making it as obvious as possible. I'm not mm. trying to be on some like, um, yeah, like cryptic shit. You know, my my inspiration comes from the alignment of the celestial <laughs> beings and shit. No, it's not that, bro. Yeah. I saw I saw Prodigy. I was, you know, when I was a kid, I was a big fan of Prodigy. I saw him in that yeah. fucking heli and I said, I am going to have that heli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lo and behold, I had that heli and, yo, I'm, I've got a, a whole heli, Hooli Hansen brand now and I, I want to name some shit yeah. um, ar uh, around the stuff that I like. You know what I'm Do saying? Do you think some of this brandness that um, we're talking about here was a perspective of its time? It was what was arms reach and available to these people, these heroes of ours. I don't think there was any kind of like brand initiative. Yeah, heavy. I'm just looking now, mob deep. Yeah. Looking at Ellie. But I, I don't oh, think for a second, I mean, maybe that's my naivety and the, 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 the wisdom that age, age had back then. But if Supreme bling out people now, I always feel like, well... That goes against the the duties of of music as a genre. It's like you discover shit, discover. Heli. I don't think so because we're in a different time. You reckon? We're in a different timescape now. You know what I mean? We're, what would you so, want to be so, fitted out then? So 20, 20 years from now, or forty years from now, even. Yeah. Some there's gonna be another Huli, a young Huli, mm. who's gonna have a Supreme themed release because of the because of the robot. impact it had. Because of the impact it had on the twenty mm. tens, mm. up to up until the twenty thirties, let's mm. say, do you see what I'm saying? Mm. So he's gonna sit down with someone and be like, "Yeah, like back in twenty ten, although Supreme started in like the nineties, mm. you know, in twenty ten, Supreme just took over the market, and you know, you had a whole bunch, and they're gonna be, you know, people his age mm. or her age." Um, talking about like, yeah, I remember that, man. I remember that Supreme Box logo, yeah. sweatshirt, bro. I, I need to go dig that up. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. going, you know, it's going to happen because look at where we are now talking about Heli. Look at where um, people are now with First and How talking about Polo. There yeah. is a whole Polo nation now. Yeah, There's yeah. a low-life nation. Oh, my God. Without you know question. Saying? It's like you can't avoid it. And you gotta love and respect that. Yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? And that's where inspiration is drawn from. What, what from I was gonna end. ask you, if there was a brand to approach you and be like, oh, see what you've done with the Huli Hansen here, what, what brand would you Huli Hansen? All day. All day long. Yeah. That's that's the ultimate aim, you mm. know. Brand ambassador mm. for Heli Hansen. I'm gonna talk that into existence. Um mm -hmm. yeah, brand ambassador for Heli Hansen. That's the ultimate goal. God, I love that. Talk that shit into existence. For real talk. Why not? You know, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. But I know, I know, I know what I can do for them. Mm. I've got a bunch of shit I can bring to the table. Mm. You know, the world has seen it already. That's why I'm sitting here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I was on Rinse FM. Mm. You know, so clearly, I've got a vision. You mm. know, I'm, 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 I'm a very good visionary. Um, and I'm working to be one of the best visionary uh, visionaries our generation has seen. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's a journey. It's it's a it's a beautiful journey. Mm. You know, um, I'm loving the L's. I'm loving the W's. You know, what I'm saying it's 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 all part of the process. I I, I just I think the tapestry of hip hop, particularly in the UK, is more vibrant with you being in it, my brother. It's just. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Lively. Thank you, bro. That's what Thank it's you. all about. That, that means a lot of still, like, that means a lot. That mm. means a lot. The, the compliments are flying in, bro. Like, nah, man. Like, I, I, I there ain't no one that. out there like you. Simple as that. There's Julian, there's everyone else, bro. You nah, man. <laughs> Look out for that, bro. Julian, and everyone else. Well, yeah, there's, there's that Huli too. There's Julian and there's everyone else. There, there's a lot coming, like I said, but you know, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of cats doing it now. Um, that I think, you know, brilliant businessmen out there, mm. flip tricks, brilliant mm. business mind. And he, you know, again, carved out a lane. Mm. He he was given an L, he was handed an L and he flipped that L into one of the best W's. Mm. In fact, the best, I'll go, I'll go that far. And and it's not me 
doing no dick riding here, pause. But wait, when you look specifically at a business, mm. you know, you're judging the business. I know flip tricks to an extent. So, and he can vouch for that. I don't know him, know him, you understand? Mm. So just by looking at his business and what he's achieved from his business, mm. cause just like me, he took his business idea to someone and they turned him down, they turned him away. And then that was the L, right? They're handing him an L. And then he converted that L into a W. And it's a brilliant... God, I the love best, that shit. The best business, I you, you know. Love it. The best business transition I've seen in, in UK hip-hop. I don't, you know, I don't know UK hip-hop like that. No, no, no. You understand what I'm saying? But looking at UK hip-hop, brilliant. Yeah. Dope media, yeah. another one. Uh-huh. Amazing business. Uh-huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? And these are, these serve as inspiration to myself. I fucking love it. You know what I'm saying? I, it's, so it's all about, man. Yeah, absolutely. Take time, but we get there. Yeah. You know, and, and it's generating so much attention, mm. you know, from, from all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And thankfully, with what I'm doing is, is generating attention as well from a specific demographic that we've not really had in the past. Mm, it's true, man. You know? And the, the the key is to stay faithful to the few. Yeah, absolutely, man. And and I'm not talking few as in numbers. I'm talking about mindset. Like yeah. you. I mean, I know it's people that people watch this. They they have fans of yours in fucking Australia. It's fans of yours in the states. The people mm. come across playlists, and mm. you know the the. the the, the ground is open. It's yeah. crazy right now. And, the, and and I love and appreciate every single one of them, man. Yeah. Like, in fact, funny enough, when I was um, when I was sending off um, Huli Hansen orders, this is the first time in years crazy. I've taken over like shipping. I had a team dealing with all of that shit there, packaging yeah. and shipping and all of that. I had a team dealing with that before, but now I'm doing it myself again. Come on. And um, I, I I was looking at the um the band camp orders and stuff and there's a certain way you gotta look at it to see if they've ordered anything else right mm. and i wish i could say their names i'm you know i wouldn't want to put anyone no, no, no. i wouldn't want to put anyone's business out there like don't, that don't, but there there were people that were literally buying stuff from gourmet deluxe since 2015 to the, every single year to this date. Oh God, that's a blessing. And and I had to just write them a personal letter, like handwritten, yo, like what the fuck? You've yeah. actually been here since the the very fucking beginning of this thing here. So good. You know, and you're still here? Yeah. Like even when we had our shit in 2020 up until, no, so, so like between 21 and 22, 23, going into 23, our shipping situation was was mad. It was the worst it's ever been. And, you know, we definitely lost a lot of customers off the back of that. And it wasn't to our fault. It wasn't <laughs> our fault. Like, there's still depots in America that are fully abandoned. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it was it was deep. Like, the pandemic, like, really fucked shit up for a lot of companies. You know what I'm saying? And manufacturers <laughs> were backed up and all of that stuff there. So I just chose to slow everything down got rid of the team mm. um, and just said, I'll start again. I'll just do it myself mm-hmm. right now, for now anyway. And there are people that want to be down and, you know, help out. But I think I'm just going at a pace that I'm I'm very comfortable with right now. And you're able to be um, engaged with your fans immediately. Yeah, like that. and that's what that's what it was in the first place. Yeah. Because I started that. Like, it, like, huh. be, like in 20, 2016, all people were getting from artists were... Um, clear CD wallets with a CDR in it and like the title handwritten yeah. the title of the album handwritten on some any CDR but I came along and um, obviously with the help of my team we um, we came through with the with the with the presentation and then I came with the idea of having a personalized letter written with this person's name with this customer's name and then my signature at the end of this letter just saying thank you. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And enough people bit that shit. And then yeah. I'm that type of person. When I get bitten and I don't get credit for it, I don't fucking like it, bro. There's you know a sign saying? at the door. So so yeah, so I just I just I just sat back on that one for mm. a hot minute. But then coming back, like I'm I feel like I'm starting again um in, in respect 
of how I'm running Gourmet Deluxe. And um, yeah, man, seeing all these orders and, you know, people buying, you know, in, in this climate as well, people paying like 70 pounds for a, a CD and a cassette tape in a presentation box and it Whoa. pretty much selling out. Um, mm. To me, it's very, it's, it's uplifting. Fuck, yeah. It's uplifting, it's inspiring, it's yeah. encouraging. And it's like, yo, nah, I've got to think. And you've been here since 20 fucking 15, bro. Mm. You still bought your shit, even though it took for fucking mm. ever for your shit to get to you at a certain period of the, mm. when the company was running. You still stuck by us, you know what I mean? So I've got to write you a letter yeah. and thank you. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's as deep as you can get. Bro, look, bro, like, shit, bro, people are people are struggling yeah. financially right now. Yeah. So the fact that you're even willing to part with 20 quid for mm -hmm. my CD. That's everything. Or 17 quid, 18 quid for my cassette tape. Mm. Man, you're a fucking G. Thank you, man. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Like, from the bottom of my fucking heart. For real. And on that note, Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's been another fantastic conversation. My guy. With the fly only inside the place. Come on. <laughs> Let's get the coffees in, yeah, mate. Yeah, come on. <laughs> same number, same hood. Straight up. Oh, Killer mm. Keller podcast out like that. Go check out Fly Huli, the Huli Hansen mixtape and beyond. All right. Salute. Sharing is caring, yeah? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Till next time. Easy. Yo, that was cold. <laughs> <laughs>